Hello everybody and welcome. I've been documenting on this channel the, my process of migrating my next cloud installation to another. I had to rebuild the server because I screwed up the database migration, but now I have it mostly configured and I'm going to show how it looks like. And later if there is some interest, I can make a tutorial on how to have everything configured. Not, not everything is done. I'm missing uh, centralized authentication for the services that run there. But for now, the, the connectivity is only internal and I can really show you what I have in mind. It's very cool because you can access uh, useful services from, for example, your work where you may have restricted internet access and... <laughs> <laughs> and it's very cool because how I see it, for example, you can log into your server to get something to download when you are at work or do some web browsing, well, without showing your boss that you are doing some web browsing, for example, and send and receive files and share it with your friends and centralize some services. When you log in, you get your standard Nextcloud screen, right? I did some changes here. So I connect an external folder directly to my NAS and I call Dropbox. So when I need people to send me files, I can just share this with them and it's not gonna take uh, Nextcloud storage space or the partition space from the partition set for next cloud same happens with this solo folder this solo folder is, is um, my personal folder in my NAS and it's read only but I can quickly access my personal files uh, outside when I need or from outside and here I created a folder that connects to the transmission application that I have set up on my on my NAS so whenever a download is completed I can just retrieve the files from anywhere and I can manage these files from the torrent application, right? I organize the menu as follows. On the top you get the standard um, Nextcloud programs but I connected some external applications. If you go to gallery you get your standard Nextcloud gallery. If you go to torrent it opens inside Nextcloud the transmission application so I can quickly uh, download things if I need, right? And when they are done I can just retrieve them from the next cloud standard application or even have it synced automatically if I wish. It works very well inside the, the frame, it's not a frame, but it works well so I can go to any file and, and see its details without any problems. And I can just download links directly from inside the transmission interface inside the, the next cloud. Next. If I need to download things, uh, probably the sources are blocked. So I have a Guacamole installation here configured and I can browse the internet from wherever I am. For some reason after I rebooted the server, the VNC server is not coming up. I'm having problems with the fact that I don't have a con uh, monitor connected to the server. So if I click login, I'm going to have an error. Uh, when I finish fixing it, I will demonstrate it to you. Next, if I want to manage my NAS remotely, I can click on BSD and I can log into the terminal, right? I'm missing here um, and I'm gonna work on it. I am missing two-factor authentication. So I created a special jail and this jail can only talk to, to other, to defined servers, right? So I minimize the surface of attack here. Same thing happens to the Linux server. The Linux server is currently um, a physical machine. It's the previous machine uh, that I had for my next cloud installation that I'm planning to decommission. But now, well, it's still also without dual factor authentication. I'm going to use Google Authenticator for that on my phone, or maybe a YubiKey. So for now, I can also log into uh, Linux and do uh, what I need to do. So you have here the Lot Vader server and when it's the commission is going to be a virtual machine after I upgrade my micro server from a dual core to a quad core Xeon. Then you have the next, the standard next cloud installations. I'm using contacts or I haven't started using it, but I will. I used to use it in the past. I use calendar, very nice, very useful and syncs with the phone. The notes, oh, I have it set here. So for example, I make notes of the configurations I use and you know some proxy configuration for downloading uh, weather information from the American government 
after they changed the web page and I was doing some work with Navit and Raspberry Pi so it's here as well what doesn't matter. The deck application I used to use a lot in the past and I intend to resume using it. It's very nice to manage long-term projects. Uh, it's standard with the the standard next cloud application officially supported. Tasks the same way, it's just a simple task list, comes standard on next cloud. And activity, I use activity as well to track what I'm doing and so on. So this is where I'm running now my next cloud installation. Oh, there's an alert here. Yeah, I need to replace a hard drive. It's giving me smart error on the reads test. Well, once I get paid. So I have here a dual core Xeon 1220L. It's going to be replaced by a quad core one today after I'm done with this video. Um, so it's your simple Nextcloud. I mean, it's just a simple JL setup. So if you go here to JLs, I have nothing running under this Apache uh, server. It's just configured for later use. The terminal where I have uh, the shell in a box running inside that frame is this one. My next cloud installation is here and the transmission uh, is just a plugin and I assign them all fixed IP addresses. Everything goes through the next cloud Apache installation and then I just proxy everything out from there so I can leverage the same certificates I have. And behind that, everything goes through HA proxy. And that's it. My next steps are, as I said, SSO. Uh, so, you know, users can, don't need to, you know, type password for Guacamole, for example. Two-factor authentication for shell in a box and I had it working before and I know how to configure it. And the third thing to be done is, oh, I don't even know there's a third thing to be, to be done. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and later on I'm going to show the upgrade process from a, from a dual core to a quad core Xeon and well, test temperature and etc. And later on I can probably make a tutorial on how to get all this cloud installation done, including, you know, HA proxy and etc. Thanks for watching and see you next time.